Yo, what's up guys? Ryan McGain here, author creator of 51 Handsome Guys Secrets, and welcome to another YouTube video. Just want to say you're looking amazing today. All right, so today's video, um, I got a question here. I got, I'm holding my laptop right now, but I got a question from my boy George Silva. I um, hope you don't mind me saying your name, but um, he's in the Facebook group, he's bought my product. Um, awesome dude, asked a lot of great questions inside my Facebook group. If you haven't done that, you can join below and definitely get on my email newsletter. You'll see that down there as well, or floating up here after I get done talking at the end of this video. But, um, George asks, what's up, Brian? I'm a college student, flat broke with a smiley face. Okay, I got a little mad when I read that because we've all been broke, it sucks, but I hate vocalizing it. So, um, but he immediately retaliated that with, but that ain't gonna stop me getting better and better every day. So first off, George, you're the man, and everybody can learn from that because that's taking a bad situation and spinning it around and always persevering. I love that about you, keep kicking ass. Okay, so keep it going. I'm working my ass off to get my body in shape and my style in check, but since I don't have a lot of money, I've been struggling with the following. Okay, for next up, kick ass job of staying in shape because nobody likes a fat slob. So, um, all right, so here we go. He is obviously buying, investing in himself, which is another good fact, but I've recently invested approximately 90, with a little E squiggly. I'm assuming that's maybe British, I don't know. But I'm guessing it's around $150 uh, USD, maybe more, maybe less, but we'll go there for the sake of this video on my wardrobe, including a pair of slim fit denim jeans, a nice pair of boots, kind of dressy ones, and of course a matching belt. These are my top priority to get. First off, great three items to get, or I'm sorry, two items to get. Um, nice dark denim raw um, slim fit will always be in style, it will always look good no matter what. So definitely awesome job getting that for your first priority and then number two getting the dress dress boots another great option you can wear both those items year round and they always look good so here's where it keeps going um, and also way to go on the matching belt uh, but since this these are my best top fitting clothes that I own I can't always wear them and every time I go back to my old clothes not all that bad if matching right but they're just okay I don't feel the same badass pump that being said should I just keep and wear my okay clothes Wait, I'm sorry. That being said, should I just keep and wear my okay clothes and the top ones on special occasions or wear all of them considering that one day uh, you're going to blah, blah, blah. Nonetheless, I fucking love you and love what you're doing. It's been a huge help. All right, so here's what he was asking. Basically, he has a little bit of money. He has currently spent that money on certain items of clothes. Now he doesn't have any money to buy other stuff. Okay, so here's where you go from here. Now, I always talk about having a versatile wardrobe. And being that... Um, the things with the versatile wardrobe is that you can match certain things and wear them with other things. And essentially, you can wear the same thing all the time, but look slightly different and nobody's going to know, especially new people you meet when you're out and about, maybe at a bar, at a club, um, at a, a place of business, a coffee shop, wherever you're going to go. doesn't matter. But if you have certain things, like you have to have a good base. You got a nice pair of boots. You got a nice pair of uh, denim. Okay, so those are your base. You can wear those with anything. Next up, all you really need to do to look different every day is have a slight variety of shirts. Um, let's go, there's seven days in a week. So you need to figure out how to afford seven nice fitting shirts, okay? My guess would be to take three of those days and just get some nice slim fitting v-necks, okay? Um, black, white, navy. You can go to Old Navy, they have slim, uh, slim fit v-necks, all different colors, I think they're 10 bucks. H&M has really nice stretchy ones that are, that are nine bucks. Express has two for 25. So boom, get yourself a base level of V-necks. Now, button-ups. I would get certain colors that are gonna last. I would get a nice fitting white one. You're gonna probably spend 50 to 60 bucks, maybe 75 on this, get it tailored. Make sure it always fits you good because you can essentially wear a white. I mean, I made a video about five ways to wear a white dress shirt with style and that was the same shirt worn five, I think I did actually seven different ways of wearing the same shirt, okay? so. You don't have to change much to always look different, especially if you're not going out every night of the week. Like if you're a club promoter, you gotta have a lot of clothes. But if you're just a regular guy who's going to the club on the weekends, maybe Tuesday, or I'm sorry, maybe Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or just like a bar one night, a happy hour, whatever, you can wear essentially the same stuff, okay? Like they take this outfit I'm wearing right now for example. Just a navy, or not navy, but a light blue shirt with a black sweater. I can completely change this look if I took off the shirt and I just, or I took off the sweater, I'm just wearing the shirt. Or I put on, back on the sweater and I put on a knit tie. There's three different looks with one, two items of clothes. This thing costs 10 bucks, okay? So, 
Get yourself a base level V-neck because you could wear the V-necks, well-fitting dark jeans and boots and look pretty good in a lot of situations. Now, you're not going to be the best dressed guy there. You're just going to look pretty good. Okay, so what's going to set you apart is your outerwear, your layering. I would get a couple of these slim fit uh, like cotton sweaters or uh, if you live up north, get wool. Um, you can have these at, or find these at Old Navy. They're literally 10 bucks. H&M has a bunch of different colors, like 15 bucks. Just start getting little pieces here and there, but these little pieces go a long way. Um, then your dress shirt, like I said, get a nice white one, maybe get like an Oxford blue, get them tailored, make sure they fit you properly. Maybe throw in like a pattern, like, um, a, like a gingham. I really like the black and white checks. There's three shirts, three, uh, three button ups, one sweater, and three v-necks, and you got an endless number of options. Then. To top it off, add in one blazer, maybe a black or a navy. I'd probably go black if you're staying really minimal, um, just because I like to, I start with a black blazer, I really like how they look. But just a nice black blazer over top of all the stuff that you currently have, and boom, you could essentially wear that outfit seven days a week. You're always going to be well dressed as long as everything fits you properly. Nobody is going to know the difference. It's neither here nor there, and you're always going to look good. So I hope that this helps you. All right, so. If you have more questions about this, put them in the comments because I'm all about building a versatile wardrobe and essentially not having a shit ton of clothes, but a lot of clothes you can wear over and over in different ways so you always look good and always look fresh, always look up to date and stylish. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, grab your free stuff at the after I stop talking. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Like this video. You know the drill. I don't want to annoy you. That's it. Talk to you guys later. Peace.